Hello and welcome, collectors, to this edition of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Diecast Masters Core Classic Series model. Now, if you've never seen a Core Classic Series model, you can immediately differentiate a Core Classic models from a Highline Series model by Diecast Masters simply by looking no further than the outer packaging. So the Core Classics will come in the brown style box, and the Highline Series will always come in that white style box, so immediately... You can tell the difference right there. So this Core Classics model is the Cat 980K material handling version. The item number is 85289C, and again, another way to tell is the Classics will always have the letter designation C after the item number as well. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this unboxed and take a look at it. Here it is right here. As you can see, it's in the clear window style cardboard box. Cat 980K wheel loader material handling configuration. A little bit of history about this model. It's been through a few different iterations through the Diecast Masters product line. Originally, it was, of course, a Norscott model. And uh, then it ended up in the Diecast Masters Highline series range. And uh, once Cat came out with the 980M which is now in the Highline series range, which is the replacement for this. I know it's a little bit confusing. But once the 980M came out, the 980K uh, was moved down to the Core Classics. So, the short version is you can still get this model. It's just now in the Core Classics line. On the back, there's a black and white photo of the wheel loader at work. And here are the specification details of this particular loader if you would like to pause the video and check it out as always feel free to do that now so this is a little bit of going down memory lane this is uh the kind of packaging that a lot of us are familiar with that we grew up with when it comes to cat models the biggest difference there though is if you'll notice thankfully there are no twist ties to fight with it's just a simple matter of pulling it apart and be very careful what you grab onto because of course you don't want to grab onto a mirror or anything and just lift the model straight out. Once you do that the model is fully assembled and you don't need to do anything else. So here's a good look at the wheel loader. So the 980 is a, a pretty decent sized loader. Of course it's not the biggest that CAT offers. That's the 994 currently in their product range. And uh, the 980K, they made two different versions of this. This is obviously, as you saw, the material handling version with that smooth rehandling bucket. And uh, they also offer a rock bucket, and that has more aggressive tires and uh, with some teeth on the bucket as well. So depending on what kind of material you're running in your layout or your collection, that will uh, determine which of the two that you want to purchase. As any loader should, it has a good range of articulation across the articulation joint there. And there's even some small warning labels that are present. They're very legible, in fact. There is no oscillation on the rear axle, as there should be on every wheel loader. Taking a look underneath, again, not too much detail. But again, that's a small compromise to pay. Most of us don't particularly care what the chassis looks like of our machine, because this is not really a pose we pay too much attention to. The tires do have a relatively realistic tread pattern on them, and they're not too shiny. It rolls very easily. There's no hang-up in the axles or anything. The holes here in the engine housing, those are simulated by graphics. They're not see-through, but the graphics are very crisp, so it's acceptable and it looks the part. Up on top of the cab, you can see an orange or an amber warning light. And you have hand and grab protections all along top of the, of the cab. They're all thin, but they are plastic. Moving towards the front of the loader, again, you get a good view of the bucket. Again, on this side, all of your stairs, all of your detail parts of this loader, for the most part, are plastic. But the main components that you want to see are all die cast. For the function test, this model excels in everything that you would want a wheel loader to do. Your height is more than good enough 
to clear, in this case, a Diecast Masters Cat on Highway Dump Truck, CT660. And your dump angle is also excellent. So any material that you have in that bucket is going to be emptied out. So there you go, collectors. That is a quick overview of the Diecast Masters Core Classics Caterpillar 980K wheel loader in 1 to 50 scale. This is certainly a solid option if you're looking for a medium-sized wheel loader in 1 to 50 scale and you're not looking to break the bank on some of the higher end options that are out there by other manufacturers in 1 to 48 or 1 to 50 scale. It looks great. It'll fit in great with your other models. And uh, it's certainly, as I've just demonstrated in the video, it performs all the necessary functions that you're looking for in this scale. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm Tommy from Diecast Emporium. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.